Hello wrestling fans, boxing fans, and everybody out there. How are you? Wrestling and boxing forever. Rye time. Let's get into it, folks. We're going to do a little bit of everything. Wrestling and boxing. Well, let's start with boxing. Tony Harrison and Tim Zhu, they're getting ready for their fight. I think, in my own opinion... It's going to be a hell of a fight. It's a love letter to the sport of boxing. The guy who defeated... The guy who defeated Jermail Charlo... Versus... Jermail Charlo's mandatory challenger. The fans are going to win that night. I guarantee you. It's not going to be a boring fight. Kudos go out to Tony Harrison for having the guts to go over to Australia for this fight. And not really letting the politics of boxing get in the way of a terrific fight. The fans are going to win. And some other news. On the Jake Paul... Tommy Fury uh, card um, there was Junior Makabu defended the WBC cruiserweight title against Badu Jack Badu Jack and Badu Jack resurrected his career by defeating Junior Makabu by I believe it was nine, maybe nine or ten round stoppage. I'm not really sure if they went the full twelve, but I knew that Junior um, Junior Makabu lost the WBC cruiserweight title to Badu Jack, and it's going to be really funny to see where Badu Jack goes from here because. Either he can have a rematch with bad, with uh, Junior Makabu, or he could take on uh, Andre Kovalov, or or my or a guy named Manchunu, Tabisi Manchunu. So he's definitely in the conversation now. So we'll see what happens. Um, Charlo was injured. That's why the fight with him and Tenzu hasn't happened yet. But word has it that he's in Australia. So th so this looks so this looks great for the sport of boxing. Now, Tony Harrison is in a good spot because all he has to do is take Tenzu to a draw. Take him to a draw. And it sets him up for a big money fight. With Brian Castaño, a rematch up with Tim Zhu, possibly Charlo. So Tony, I believe, wins. And if Tim Zhu gets the win over Harrison, then he goes on to fight Charlo as expected. I hope he beats Charlo, because myself, I can't I can't stand them Charlos. I can't stand them. Um there's no way, and I know this is his older brother, but there's no way that you can call yourself a champion for 600 days and not defend the title. There's no way that that's possible. I wonder why the WBC is letting this go on like that. And all this personal stuff he's going through, um, there's been a lot of fighters that have personal turmoil, but they still manage to get in the ring and fight from... Mike Tyson, Tommy Morrison, Evander Holyfield, Riddick Bow. Like, there's a whole bunch of people that go through things personally, but they still manage to get in the ring and fight. So, to me, Big Brother Charlo has no excuse. And I said it in one of my videos. You can't call your... You can't walk up on 
a fighter talking about fight me for the attraction. He walked up on Bivol, Dimitri Bivol, talking about fight me for the attraction. Fight me for the attraction. You haven't done anything to be considered an attraction. So, that fight with Tim Zhu and Tony Harrison, that's a love letter to the sport of boxing. Badu Jack, the new WBC cruiserweight champion. Jared Hurd was also on, on the card. He looked great. I believe he won tonight. I'm not sure, but he looked great. So the, the super middleweight division, 154, was on full display. And um, there's talks about Tyson Fury and Undisputed, and we'll see what happens. I hope to God, well, I can't say that, but I hope there's not a fourth fight between him, him and Wilder. I mean, I had enough of that. I had enough of Wilder and Fury. I I want to see Undisputed. I want to see him move on to other contenders. I'm tired of this Wilder stuff. I want to see something else. I want to see him against Big Baby Jared Anderson. I wouldn't mind Andy Ruiz. But I'm tired of this Deontay Wilder jazz that's going around. So... Let's talk some wrestling now. As we all know, um, Ring of Honor came back under Tony Khan. They're on Honor Club. Honor Club is their streaming service. You can watch new school Ring of Honor, old school Ring of Honor, all of it. Now, as we all know, Jay Briscoe passed away. So, the tag team titles will be on the line in a ladder match, and that's how we're going to crown new tag team champions. Eddie Kingston challenged for the Ring of Honor World's title. Samoa Joe got challenged by Mark Briscoe for the World Television title. But will these matches happen? Will they take place? Who knows? And another, another thing is Carmelo Hayes and Braun Breaker, the son of Rick Steiner, they're going to collide for the NXT world title somewhere down the line. They had a they had a face off in the middle of the ring. Rex Stein, um, Bron, Bron Breaker, the son of Rick Steiner, held out the NXT Championship. So they're gonna meet one another at one point in time or another. Oh, and uh, another thing, Powerhouse Hobbs. He won the world television title, so we're going to see what, what comes next for Powerhouse Hobbs. But also, the bigger story that comes out of that is Brian Cage, the WWE is interested in Brian Cage. I, myself, personally, I'd like to see him go to the NWA. I'd like to see him go to the NWA because it's a place where he can learn and grow, possibly win the NWA world title, become a better performer, maybe take a few trips to Japan, Maybe him and Tony Khan can work something out where he goes to Ring of Honor. 
Um, so it's up to Brian Cage what he does. So fans stay locked in. Remember, climb your ladder, grab your championship, and keep your eyes on the prize. Right time, wrestling and boxing forever. I'm out. It's all love.